Shantae. If you don't know, now you know. And since you know, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become my bestie. Today's video is going to be a review. If you would like to know what I'm reviewing, just keep watching. So, a couple of days ago, I got sent this package from Influencer and it was the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. They actually sent me two concealers for free. If you don't know what Influencer is, it is basically an app where you leave reviews and in exchange for your reviews, they give you free products. I've been using it for a while and I love it. That's where I've actually gotten a lot of my makeup from. So, yeah, I will leave the link and you can sign up. So, I was sent the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. The two colors that I received was Deep Chestnut and Deep Olive. These concealers retail for, I believe, $5 each, and there's about 15 shades. So you have a nice amount of shades and a super affordable product. So the concealer actually claims to be long wearing for 16 hours, and it says that it's full coverage and does not settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. So we're going to figure that out, see if it's true, see how it works out. So before jumping into these concealers, I'm just going to... Do my face like I normally would, prime, do my foundation, all of that. So if you are a returning subscriber, you know that I like to use two primers. And the primers that I'm going to use today is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing and the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is what they look like. And yeah, I'm just going to add those to my face. And you guys, if you haven't noticed already, we have a special guest. I didn't get a warning. Uh, hey, Lay, I'm going to come by nothing she just decided to pop up so don't be rude say hello to her because she's going to be gone very soon so yes yeah, she will not be wearing out her welcome not this month i really don't know why i use two primers you guys but i just like the textures that it brings like i like to use a cream type of primer yeah i'm not really good at explaining things <laughs> But I like to use a creamy primer, and then I like to use one that is more silicone based. I just feel that it gives my skin the perfect balance, and it makes my makeup super smooth. So if you haven't tried two primers together, try it out. You might like it. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous in the shade Macau. And I like to blend out with a brush usually, but guys, I tried a sponge the past couple of times that I did my makeup. I still use the brush for my foundation like I'm doing now. But I use a sponge and I really like the outcome. I really like the result. So these days I just use a brush for my foundation and then for everything else I like to use a sponge. I just feel like it makes my makeup come out so much cleaner and more blended. And I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I think it's my edge control, y'all. And I have no idea what has been breaking my skin out but it just really needs to stop because I'm not used to my skin breaking out. I typically have really clear skin. So these breakouts are just like surprising to me and I'm not feeling it. So if you notice, I'm using a different foundation brush today and I really like this brush, even though it's on the bigger side, I just really like the blend that it gives and the coverage. And if you're wondering what brush this is, this is a BH Cosmetics number no. two brush. I'm not sure if you can get it individually, but I really love this brush. Moving on to the concealers, I should have opened them already. That would have been smart. Okay, so right off the bat, I really like the look and feel of these concealers. It doesn't feel cheap or look cheap. And these are like really big containers. Like this has to be a lot of product in here. So next I'm going to swatch them and then... This one, okay, this is a really big applicator. I dig it. <laughs> but this first shade is Deep Chestnut. Ooh, that is a lot of product. This is Deep Chestnut. That's kind of pretty. I feel like it would go with my skin, y'all. I was kind of scared because these colors look pretty light. But it might really work. And this next one is Deep Olive. That one is really yellow, but I happen to like yellow concealers because it goes with my gold undertones and it just makes you look so awake and bright. So I really don't know which one I want to try out. I'm going to go in with the deep chestnut first and see how this goes. This is definitely full coverage. 
they didn't lie about the coverage it's just about blending it out and see how full it is and i'm kind of scared to correct around my mouth with this color but let's see what happens and my forehead i really like this applicator you guys i haven't had a foundation with the applicator this big but i mean i haven't had a concealer with the applicator this big but i actually really like it and a lot of people actually compare this concealer to the Shape Tape. I never used Shape Tape, so I couldn't tell you. Shape Tape is supposed to be one of the best, not foundations, why do I keep saying foundation? Shape Tape is supposed to be one of the best um, concealers. And, I mean, I don't know. So I'm just going to see how I feel about this one. And, yeah, let's see. This isn't a bad color. As a color corrector, this does not look bad. And this shade is good for my skin. Like, it looks good. Okay. And the coverage. It pretty much has some coverage, but I just want to see what it's going to do for my under eye. Let's see. Let me go ahead and get my nose. I like to blend out my under eye last. But so far, so good. Oh, yeah. Guys, the coverage on this, do you look? <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. Just look. <laughs> it's really speaking for itself right now. Oh yeah, this looks really good, you guys. I look nice and awake. Let me see up close. And blend it a little more. Okay, so, so far, so good. I mean, I'm creasing in areas that I usually crease, like my natural creases, so I'm not surprised about that, and I'm not mad about that. But I'm liking the finish. It's nice and matte, but it doesn't feel dry under my eyes, at least not yet. I haven't added powder yet, but I want to try deep olive as well, so I'm just going to add a little on top of where I just blended that in, just to kind of brighten a little more. I'm scared for this just because of the color. The color just scares me. But let's go in. My brow. No. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to fix my brows. I'll just throw a brow gel through them because I'm too lazy to do all this solar. <laughs> but yeah, this color isn't bad either. And I was just really scared because of how yellow it was i really thought that both of these colors were going to be way too light for me but they actually work really well with my foundation oh yeah this definitely brightens i really wonder how this would have blended out with a brush because that's normally what i would have used if i wasn't trying out a sponge <laughs> these colors really work well together and they're like the perfect match for my skin so I am not mad. I'm loving how my skin is looking right now, y'all. And I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> so next I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 30 Medium Deep. This is the loose powder. I'm going to use my sponge. And I like to use a really light layer of powder. I don't like to go too overboard. And then with this being a matte um, concealer, you don't want to go really overboard because it could leave you looking really dry. Before actually throwing on powder, I usually contour, but I was just so excited to see what this was gonna look like with the powder, like I really just skipped contour. And I just hope that it comes out right when I go back to do it. <laughs> this is looking so good right now, like, I really don't even know what to say. I'm just really impressed. I didn't think that it was gonna look this good. This is a $5 concealer, you guys. $5, elf. Like, come on now. It looks so good. Okay, so I'm not sure how much time I have left on my camera, so I'm just gonna hurry up and finish off the rest of my face. I just really want you guys to see the concealer go on and see it set with powder. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera get back to you guys and show y'all the finished look so 
next it's so it's been about a good 30 ish minutes and you guys look how flawless my skin looks like it looks so freaking good i am so shook i'm surprised oh and i turned my breakouts into moles we turned the breakouts into moles all summer 19. you guys like i am so freaking impressed with these concealers like and they're only five dollars and there's like 15 shades i believe so you can highlight and contour hopefully they expand their shade range because these are actually really good i'm probably going to be using these every day it's a i don't know it's a hard choice between these and my nyx hd concealer they're gonna be fighting i'm so impressed i really like how this finished product came out i just did my face how i normally would if you would like to see how i beat my face a little everyday glow then i'm going to leave that video linked somewhere at the top please look into these concealers again this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer yeah you guys get into it spin your coin and tell them that I sent you. <laughs> now you don't have to do all that. Again, I got these free from Influencer. Sign up, leave some reviews, and just start receiving your free products, you guys. I've gotten so much from them. Makeup, skincare, hair care, like everything. They have everything. And they'll send you some free products if you just leave your review. Yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.